Sorry, Amber, I realise how annoyed you get when you see someone smiling. Hey, Duke, how's today's progress report? Oh, yeah, the boring progress report meeting. Did you talk about me? You sent me to an orphanage. Very amusing, Dolly. Oh, Cam's on the phone. Honestly, that woman phones at most awkward times. It's not you, Tracy. Amber? Maybe she's decided to foster someone who's less pain in the bum. <laughs> Called style. I don't expect you lot to understand. Gotcha! I wish we didn't do that. Okay, Lol, what are you up to? It's a well known fact that on a secret mission you need the right gadget. And for Lol, the master spy, no meeting is sacred. Report meeting. Mm, full max for craftiness, minus 50 million for dumbness. Tracy, Nathan was wearing a suit. So it was an important meeting, but they happen all the time. But they could just decide to, oh, I don't know, split me a bouncer up. Oh, no bouncer, no one for low to hide behind. Of course, with Amber getting mysterious phone calls from Cam, who's to say they weren't talking about you three as well? Us three. Well, there's only one way to find out for sure. Missing something? What? What did? How did? You can never be a good spy if you can't spot when you're being spied on. Later, dudes. Have you just been out scammed by Amber? Ah, uh, my brain must be shrinking. James Bond doesn't go around nicking microfilm from under other people's noses, does he? Yes. But doesn't it make you mad? Amber, find out all sorts of secret stuff. About us. But no one has any secrets here, lol. But, but, what if they decide to split us up? Send us to different homes? Lol, where's this daft idea suddenly come from? But you can't split up Lol and Bouncer, they're a team. Still, I think it will do them good in the long run. I mean, to be fair, they're a little bit too old to be sharing a room anyway. You know, just around. Anyway, if they did split us up, I might be in serious danger of getting some work done. That would ruin my reputation. Clever remark from Bouncer. Must think I've come back. Can't. My brain really is shrinking. <sighs> He bugged the meeting. But why? Couldn't have been that important. Louise, Nathan was wearing a suit. Hey, kids, want to listen to this? Yeah. For a small fee. We're, We're not, not interested. interested. Fair enough. If you don't want to hear about which blonde person is so helpful around the house that the staff aren't trying too hard to find foster parents for her, or which person's dad who's just got married, maybe getting divorced again? Or which member of staff, whose name rhymes with Penny, may be off to run a care home in New York? That's nice. You two have finally found a hobby you can share. It's Amber. She's been in our room for ages. Hi, Duke. Amber, everything okay? 
yeah, everything's fine. I was just listening to this really fascinating documentary on the radio about bugs. Oh, well, uh, that's nice. It's a very interesting subject. Do you know? Oh, it's wonderful, Amber. I've been there for quite a few holidays. Actually, I'm hoping to go again quite soon. Oh, really? That's nice. Come on, Pam. Checking up on her. She hates that. <laughs> Tracy, um, come to see Amber. Amber? Uh, uh, hi, Cam. Bye, Tracy. Oh, Tracy. Shall we go to my room? Yeah, OK. Hey, Lou, look, I know it isn't your turn, but you couldn't help me with the washing up, could you? You'd love that, wouldn't you? Get Louise to do it. She never complains. Or maybe I'm tired of being kicked around. I only asked. But, but are things really OK, Dad? I mean, really, really. And you're not having any arguments. What do you mean, the normal kind? You've only just got married. Pull yourself together. Is everything okay, Justin? And I thought grown-ups are supposed to be sensible. But what did I do? Apart from bugging the report meeting. And losing the tape. And letting Amber mess with our heads. Well, yeah, apart from all that, what did I do? All right, I'll sort it. Come on, let's go. Yeah, well, I think everybody feels a bit like that sometimes. Oh, sorry to bother you, Amber. You know that tape I let you? Could I have it back, please? I haven't got it anymore. I slipped to my secret agent, 007. Ah, uh, right. Thanks. 007? Spying's wrong, isn't it? A betrayal of trust. But ultimately, it was your responsibility. You should have kept a lookout. But we're willing to overlook it this time. Just hand over the tape and we'll say no more about it. Girls, what would you say if I told you I didn't have the faintest idea what you were talking about? Is that the time? Love my job. A school project, you say? A social studies, helping us to understand law and order. And what's Tracy got to do with this? I'm safeguarding your human rights. Oh, thank you. Go on then. Spread up. It's just a regular body search. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you lot? We can't find the tape. Amber said she gave it to... to a secret contact. Agent... 007. What? 007. Oh. And who in the house is 007 years old? Donnie! Yes, I 
appreciate that I'm still. Live tea that we usually um, expect at the end of the month. So We've had the Is that it? Well, I could only record 45 minutes. 45 minutes? How did you expect to get anything inside 45 minutes? You didn't really think this through, this spying business, did you, Lol? But... My brain... Oh, my brain! Oh, have I had enough of this? Jenny, are me and Lol being split up and sent to different care homes? What? Of course not. Thank you. And you're not going for a new job in New York? I most certainly am not. But you've got relatives there. Yeah, exactly. I want a word with you. Really? Probably won't be much help. Not with me new shrunken brain. Been hearing rumours about a certain tape in our meeting this morning. Ah, oh, well, you see... It's just... Well, they asked me to leave the room for a while, so they could talk about me, and I was just wondering... Ah, well, obviously some details need to remain confidential, mm. but I think they like the suits. Yeah. And uh, they might have suggested that you should um, stand up to Jenny more often. Mm. She'd probably respect you more as a professional. Right. He still got it. Tracy, you busy? Too busy to talk to you. I'm making a list in my head. Reasons why you'd want to foster Amber. She wouldn't mess up your kitchen. She doesn't know what a kitchen's for. You could sit around for hours laughing at one another's rubbish hairdos. You think I want to foster Amber? Look, you do know before she came here, Amber used to run away a lot. That's what I was talking to her about. For an article I'm writing about runaways. An article? Is that all? I'm not sure I'm foster mother material, Tracy. You know that better than anyone. I'm probably more like big sister material. More like ugly big sister material. What's that? Oh, it's just a little chat the staff had about you. After we told them about your spying mission, we thought we'd try out the tape recorder again with someone sensible in charge. And uh, did it work? Like a dream. <laughs> I don't believe you. That's not our problem. Hey, Justine, there's a great bit about how she used to have an imaginary friend. <gasps> <gasps> Give me that! No flipping. There's plenty more action coming. Now! the story. Amber's trashed her room. She spray painted her wall. Yeah. I'm gonna kill you. Hi, uh, uh, Tracy. Oh, um, hi, Jake. A slight problem. I'm gonna need your help. Uh, I've already told Lowe to get onto level two. You have to go through the gates of doom with the poison apple. It's not the computer. I need you to share your room for a bit with Amber. We've got to do a quick graffiti cleaning hers. I'm not sharing with Amber. You're just asking for trouble. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tracy. It's already sorted. <gasps> then unsort it. It's just till tomorrow. It's only for one night. You'll have a laugh. Yeah, Nathan's right. This is going to be fun. What are you doing? What is your problem? This is my room with my things. I don't want them all mauled and messed about. Ooh, a bit touchy, aren't we? Are you sleeping in here tonight? Yeah, come in. You can help me with my uh, bed. Drop. Excuse me. I haven't said they can come in. This is my room. Remember? Correction. This is our room. And if I say they can come in, they can come in. 
But my stuff. Touch it and you're dead, Justine Littlewood. Just ignore her. She needs to learn how to share. Can I borrow this? No! <sighs> Don't be such a prima donna, Tracy. You should know by now that nothing's private in a care home. Quite an artist, our Amber. Mm. Let's get it painted and back to normal before Jenny gets back. Should all be dry by tomorrow. I'll get another brush. <laughs> Never treats me sweet and gentle the way she should. I've got it bad and that is good. Morning, Morning. Hello, Adele. How did the audition go? Um, not sure. I think we got the gig. Am I looking at the next big thing? Duke, the band's just me and a couple of mates from college, that's all. It's a laugh. Y you're not looking for another singer, are you? My old heart is sentimental, not made of wood. You have to join the queue. Tracy's been on at me already. She's even writing her own song. That doesn't rhyme properly. Oh, I don't know why you're bothering to write a song anyway, Tracy. Adele's never in a million years gonna have you in her band. You're rubbish, I think. Yeah, Tracy, I've heard you singing in the bath. You're tone deaf. Gee, <laughs> 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 this is an emergency. What's the matter? Amber! Is she okay? She won't be if she stays in my room for much longer. Oh. I want her out by the end of the day, or I will not be responsible for my actions. Tracy! Don't, Tracy me, by the end of today. Oh, I'm sick of this place. Sick of sharing everything all the time. I know. No, you don't. Tracy, I was brought up with four brothers in a three-bedroom semi. Believe me, I know. And get this. Now she's telling everyone I'm tone deaf. I'm an undiscovered musical genius. Everyone knows that. Well, then, we can't waste all that talent, can we? Maybe we should get you an instrument to play. Something of your own. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah I learned guitar when I was your age. It'd be something you wouldn't have to share with anybody. That'd be great. Right, well, uh, I'll give Elaine a call, see if we can sort something out. Thanks, Duke. Adele's bound to let me in her band now. Oh, you'll have to learn how to play it first, Tracy. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right, I want something really trendy, like a saxophone. And then I'll be discovered and taken away to somewhere people will treat me like I deserve. It to you, Lane. I didn't think you'd be able to come up with anything so quickly. It's been sitting in my attic for years. Duke, Tracy won't let us have a go. It is her instrument, Justine. But that's not fair. We want something to play to. Yeah, can you give me a bass guitar, Lane? I'll a drum kit. I think that might be pushing it. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry, Elaine. They'll get over it. No, no, they're quite right, Duke. It's not fair, is it? Think how you'd feel. You're right. Oh, well done, Tracy. Another few weeks and she'll be well away. I don't care what they say. I'm not about to play nobody's game. Cause it's all about the dog in me. That's really good, Adele. It's a bit different in front of a crowd of people. It's quite scary, actually. You were scared? With a bit of luck, I didn't show it. So. What do you think? I can either play the sax in your band, well, mine until I get really good, or I could sing, or both, but not at the same time, obviously. Um. Well, Elaine, where'd you get all these? My connections. Come on, let's go start our own band. Yeah, wicked. Here, Louise, you can have the violin. That's whooping. I want the trumpet. No, I want the trumpet. Uh, girls, share. Fine. Whoever can blow the trumpet the loudest gets it. That's nothing. Listen to this. Isn't it great, Duke? Elaine got all these new instruments. Yes, thanks, Elaine. The whole house is alive with the sound of music. <laughs> I thought you shouldn't leave it lying around. I didn't leave it lying around. I left it under my pillow on my bed in my room. I don't know what you're belly aching about. Apart from the really funny bits like, uh, how you're going to be rich and famous, yawn, yawn, and how your mum's going to whisk you away in her private helicopter. It's the biggest sort of slop I've ever read. Hilarious. This room isn't big enough for the both of us. <laughs> Walk, 
Tracy. Unless you want me to share your song with the rest of the dumping ground. I suppose you think I'm singing this song just because I'm blue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Anna, Duke told me to tell you that you won't be finished paying my room until tomorrow. Bad luck, Rumi. Could we just have some peace and quiet for one minute, please? Apparently not. Hello? I'm sorry, can you speak up? Hi, Josie? Josie from the band, yeah. Well, don't, don't you think you should tell Adele yourself? All right. Right, right, I'll, I'll let her know. Zamba being a pain again. Well, you can't stay out here all night. That means sharing Bob's spiky face. Hey, Trace, don't get mad. Get even. If you don't pack it in right now, I may have to take that lovely saxophone, that very nice keyboard, and that smashing bass guitar, put them in a quiet corner in the garden, and set them on fire with my very large blowtorch. Oh, you like music, Duke? Constant bedlam and lack of sleep can do very strange things to curl workers, Tracy. Where's Amber? Oh, she's gone back to her own room. Shame, really. I quite like sharing with her now. <laughs> tonight. Tracy, I'm sorry, but you can't be in the band. Because the thing is, we failed the audition. We're not playing the gig. But you're really good. Josie rang me yesterday. Apparently they thought I was too nervous on stage. Are you upset? Of course not. I would be. <clears throat> Adele, that's great. One door closes, another one opens. It just so happens that we're looking for a singer in our band, aren't we guys? Oh, yeah, yeah. How about it? Fantastic. We're going to do all 